Ken, you've been tracking birth rates in the U.S. Uh, and as detailed in an August 2022 data snapshot from the Carsey School, there seems to be a pronounced uh, downward trend. Um, you note that the fertility rate in the U.S. grew slightly in 2021, but that the number of new babies born last year was the third lowest number in 40 years. So can you just uh, from a 30,000 foot level, uh, give us the uh, what, what the trend is looking like. Sure. So uh, the U.S. birth rate has been declining almost continuously since 2007 when the Great Recession began. Many of us thought that after the recession ended and economic growth resumed uh, that the birth rate would turn up, but that hasn't happened. And so uh, in 2021, there were about 3.65 million births in the United States. That compares to about 4.3 million in 2007. So about 600,000 fewer births, and yet there were almost 9% more women in their child, prime childbearing years. So in other words, we've got fewer births, even though we have more women of childbearing age. And the birth rates have declined quite significantly during that period. And I calculated that if the birth rates of 2007, which were not terribly high, not compared to the baby boom, for example, had they continued through 2021, we would have had about 8.6 million more babies born during that 14 years than we actually had. So that's a fairly significant decline, recognizing again that the number of births in the United States ranges around about 3.7 million a year or so right now. So 8 million, 8.6 million fewer births in 14 years is a fairly substantial amount. And that's, that has implications, you know, first for hospital maternity wards, then for businesses that have something to do with children, like the old Toys R Us, which isn't around anymore. And one wonders if it's partially because there are so many fewer children. Uh, on into the school systems, which are going to have a lot of empty elementary school rooms right now compared to what they would have had, and then on into the labor force. So uh, this is, has fairly significant implications. The fertility rates themselves are near record lows. There was a, a few more births in 2021 than there was in 2020, but we're talking about a difference of two or three percent. Um, the drop in the birth rates were greatest for the youngest women. So in other words, the teenage birth rate has dropped very substantially, which many demographers see as good news that we have fewer teenage children having children themselves. The other group that saw a substantial decline in the birth rate was women in their early 20s. Um, once you get into women in their 30s, their birth rates have held fairly steady. Now, they haven't gone up but they haven't gone down very much. Um, these birth rate declines have occurred across all racial and ethnic groups. So births are down for non-Hispanic whites, for Hispanics the most, but also for blacks. So this is not just part of one part of the population or another part of the population. It's very extensive. It's occurring all across the country. Um, so these are fairly substantial changes. One of the things that I've been watching very carefully is I, for a long time, I and many other demographers thought that the downturn in births was a function of the economic recession and its immediate aftermath. It disrupted jobs, it disrupted families, it delayed marriage, all of the kind of things that typically happen during a recession. But the birth rates have not come back up. The children that were delayed, many of them have not appeared yet. And now the women who were in their 20s in 2007 or 2008 are now in their 30s and reaching the end of their childbearing years. So the only other time we have that's anything like what's happened so far is the Great Depression itself in the 1930s. And the young women who began their childbearing years at the beginning of the Great Recession, say women who were 20 in 1930, never made up for the births that they didn't have as young women. So the question increasingly is whether these births, which many of us thought were being delayed, are simply going to be foregone completely. And those births that drop, I mean, that gap of eight, over 8 million children, while some of it may be made up, it doesn't 
it increasingly seems unlikely that it all will be 